Hey guys, this is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. I'm setting up my camera so that I can go for a short drive without it overheating. I cover it with a washcloth, or part of it, so it doesn't block the camera. And it seems to help. And then I put the uh, air conditioner on, like, defrost. So here we go, guys. Let's see how this works. Anyway, this is Sunday morning. It's about, uh, what time is it? It is 9.42 a.m. And I'm going to get me a mouse for my Chromebook. Why are you going to get a mouse for your Chromebook, Rusty? What, are you some kind of idiot? That's such an antique thing to do. What, are you going to get one with a wire instead of wireless? Probably. Anyway. <clears throat> So, knowing that I'm going to get a mouse for my Chromebook, one might ask, why do you want to do that? And the answer is, the reason I want to do that is because I am looking at GPS stuff for RVing and boondocking and all of that. I stumbled across something new to me, and probably new to you too, Google Earth or Google now has Google Earth, a web-based system that's available only in the Chrome browser. <clears throat> For those of you that have other browsers, you'll have to open it up in the Chrome browser. <clears throat> and I got a rattle, but I can't figure out where it is. I've done everything. I have beat on everything in this car. And I'm going to see one more time if I can't figure it out. No, I can't. Anyway, enough said. But anyway, it's gonna, you're going to hear a little rattle or clicking in the video probably, but that's something I can't find. But having said that, Google Earth is available. It's a Google Earth 2017, and it's available only in Chrome browsers. But it's amazing. You know, I'm wondering if I really need GPS if I have this, you know, because, it, well, of course, you have to have an internet connection to use this web-based Google Earth, so that's kind of a difference. GPS typically work without internet access. So having said that, you guys, what I, my point of this video is, check out Google Earth 2017 using the Google browser and see what you think because I think it, think it's very, very interesting. Uh, of course, I don't have a mouse for my laptop now, so there, I was limited in a lot, a lot of the things I could do. Uh, I, a lot of things I couldn't do properly or correctly. However, before you start using it, if you would, for your own benefit, there is a YouTube tutorial put out by some guy, I don't remember his name, but I'll give you the name of the video. The name of the video is New Online Google Earth 2017 Tutorial. Web-based Google Earth. It's not an app, it's web-based Google Earth, but it, again, it's the, the tutorial is titled New Online Google Earth 2017 Tutorial. But watch that and I think you'll find it very enlightening. In fact, it's fun. Uh, I'm, that's why I'm going to get this mouse. I'm going to allow a mouse in my house. I remember when I had mouse mice in my house, in my White House, my camper top on my Ram pickup when I was camping here several weeks ago. I had two mice. I remember somebody left a comment. I hate them Mises the pieces. <laughs> it's cute. Anyway, guys, so that's it. So you can click off there and go somewhere else. I'm just going to ramble on for a second and see if this thing uh, keeps from overheating. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I'm just going to give it a few more minutes. But yeah, I think the Google Earth thing might be all I need because I'll only probably going to try to stay only at places that have fairly good internet or Wi-Fi access and the reason being is I find it entertaining and of course since I do videos to pay for my travels uh, it gives me an incentive to be connected so to speak. 
but most places are now connected. Most, it's getting better and better and better and better and better. In fact, I'd say in three years, there will rarely, rarely will you find a boondocking spot even that won't have internet access. Very good. And the reason is, is they're going to go to satellite, and that pretty much cuts the crap out. Google's putting up all kinds of stuff, and uh, so is Elon Musk, you know, to enhance uh, internet connectivity. Uh, Elon Musk needs it for his Tesla automobile, and Google needs it to build markets and make money, and that's a hell of a driving force. But so far, okay. Uh, looking forward to getting my RV, my travel trailer, in the ne next, hopefully, I don't know, I, I hope two weeks maybe. But you know, it doesn't matter. I can hope, hope in one hand and you know what in the other hand, or wish in one hand and do something in the other hand, whatever that saying is. And uh, you know how that goes. It, it'll be here when it's here. What is the saying? Uh, there used to be an old Doris Day song. I think Doris Day sang it. It's called K Sera Sera. In Spanish, that means whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. So K Sera Sera. 79 top down degrees. It'll be in the 90s today, low 90s, which is not horrible. The humidity's not that high. You know, if it's low humidity and 90 degrees in central Texas, it's okay for me. Actually, 80 and about 15% humidity is good for me, but So for you guys that are using GPS and all these other things, or maybe those that are either thinking about using GPS and all that stuff, check out this uh, uh, Google Earth 2017 the web-based Google Earth. It's only available on the Chrome browser. Key point, it's not an app you download. It is the full-blown operation, but it's only on Google Chrome browser. What does that mean? Well, you know, if you've got Firefox or Microsoft or whatever you're using, just download the Google browser. You can have eight browsers out there matter. Down through the barnyard she staggered, staggered and fell at the door. These were the last words she uttered. I'll never get drunk anymore. You know, I'm not really sure where this camera's pointing. I tried to point it down a little bit more today. The reason is, it seems like the sunlight doesn't affect it quite as much if I aim it down a little bit. I thought about getting, you know, another dash cam kind of thing, but poo-poo on that. <clears throat> to get a good dash cam is pretty expensive. And I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied with this one. The quality is fine. I watch my own videos every now and then. They're okay. So what else is going on? I got a damn rattle and I can't figure where it is. Don't you hate that when you have a rattle? Those little mysterious little rattles that crop up in your vehicle. It's not a bad one, it's just irritating. You understand what I'm saying? I know where it is, but I don't know how to stop it. I think I know. So, when I was young and had no sense, I stuck my penis in an electric fence. It curled my hair and tickled my huevos and made me poo-poo in my overall. I read that on the restroom wall in Port O'Connor, Texas about 50 years ago. I've never forgotten it. Something else they had written there that I thought was rather interesting. It says, please stand back. Crabs have been known to plot pole vault. I don't know what that means. Oh, God. 
Those are the things you get from the toilet then, right? I have got a rattle that is driving me insane. be a pretty short drive. Got my green tea. I've already eaten my dark chocolate almond so I wouldn't irritate you all with smacking. But I'm going to Walmart to buy the cheapest mouse they've got. If they have any. I don't even know. Do they, do they keep mice in the stores now or is that against the law? Well, it seems to be doing pretty good. I've got that washcloth over it, or part of it, and I've got the vent fan on defrost, or the air conditioner thing. I put it on defrost. It seems to, so far, so good. So this, is, this has been a test of the emergency alert system. You know, by the time you heard the emergency alert, the war is over. I mean, that's what the emergency alert will tell you. The war has ended. <laughs> it's about how quick they'll be from now on. What fun life it is. Now I've got Google Earth to play with. I've got my Google device to talk to. I mean, I'm, it's actually getting crowded in my RV. I may have to kick somebody out. Listen to old Eddie's tape again this morning, his, his CD this morning. Don't remember that? He sent me a CD in the mail. Can't remember if Eddie's his name, Eddie something. But I listened to his CD again this morning a little bit. Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty good. I think he wrote his own song. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Highway 281 runs north and south in central Texas. If you followed this road far enough, you'd end up in San Antonio, Texas. That's where the Alamo is. reason Texas ended up winning the uh, battle with Mexico is a lot to do with logistics. You know, Mexico City is a long way from San Antonio, Texas, and to supply an army of 10,000 men walking over a long stretch, supplying them with horses, by horses and carriages and stuff, so the logistics just got kind of strung out. And they stopped to take a little siesta at San Jacinto near Houston, Texas. And uh, Sam Houston caught him napping. Well, that's the way the story goes. Most of that stuff is a story. But at the Alamo, they did get slaughtered. There's no doubt about that. They were outnumbered 10,000 to 80. <laughs> That's not very good odds. And supposedly, uh, Bowie, not Bowie, who was it? Was it uh, no. General Austin? Well, anyway, somebody drew a line in the sand, said anybody that wanted to leave could just step across that little line. If I'd have been there, I'd have taken one giant step. Bye, guys. Adios, amigos. I mean, there's 10,000 mad Mexicans out there. And I think it's time for me to go. They got cannons. We got muzzle loaders. I don't think so. You know, maybe we ought to, you know, retreating and living to fight another day is actually pretty smart. You know, when the odds might be a little more in your favor. They had already slaughtered them at Gonzales. They had the sign that says, come and take it. Well, they did. I mean... Yeah, when you're outnumbered 10,000 to 80, uh, and you're on the side that has 80, you might want to take a look at your whole card. You know what I mean? But yeah, supposedly one guy left. I don't know what his name was. Doesn't matter. It's been, it's been a long time ago. But yeah, Texas was the northern, northernmost part of Mexico at that time and uh, actually the t 
Texans or Texicans were immigrants and Santa Ana granted them uh, 640 acres or, or uh, what do you call it, 640 square mile uh, and, and a lot more land just, just to uh, have people on it and paying some tax. You know, that's all Santa Ana was interested in was getting the revenue, and he did. He got a lot of it. He got a whole lot, but he got so much that when he started taxing them to death, they banded together and decided they would separate from Mexico, and that's what that ruckus was about. Pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. Anyway, I'm going to end this video. I've, just, I've already tested it enough. I've tested y'all enough too, haven't I? Having said that, guys, live and in color from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609. Driving 57 miles an hour. Getting 25.5 miles a gallon overall. And we're going to let me go down here a little further and I'll give you a report. I better end it because I got the cover off of it. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, y'all have a great Sunday. Enjoy your week. Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye, bye USA, maybe you can. Drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. In fact, it's good for you. Why? Because it'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, help you lose weight. My God, what more can you expect from a flick free glass of pure water? Yo, take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth several times a day. Why? Because it relieves stress. And relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Lowering your blood pressure is good for you. If you don't believe me, check it out. Uh, what else? Stretch, walk, keep your health. You don't eat so much. Eat less, eat less, eat less. In fact, today is uh, one of the days that I'm doing my quote semi-fast. I just have a breakfast and then that's about it until the evening and then I just have a snack. Adios guys from Central Texas, keep your health.